Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn how to set up a Windows enrollment process for Windows 10 operating systems devices. To begin with, uh, you can go to Intune portal and device enrollment. This is where we focused. We have already completed Apple enrollment as well as uh, Android enrollment process. Now we are going to do it uh, the configuration part for a Windows enrollment process. Let's click on that uh, and you can see here if you wanted all the missions, whatever the missions are joined in as your AD okay that machines automatically to be configured with your auto enrollment process then you need to enable this so it's quite easy for example uh, if I go back to my Azure AD which I'm gonna do it from another tab here if you can see here and uh, inside Azure Active Directory you would be finding out here the users as well as the user groups you can check out all the listed users that's what we have uh, checked in this also uh, groups similarly you also have the devices right so in the devices if you don't see uh, that means any of the machines are not at enrolled in uh, Azure AD so I'm shortly uh, we are gonna uh, join uh, in Azure AD also in a minute or so now we will be configuring auto enrollment process so as a first step uh, you need to understand there is a difference between adding to Azure AD and automatically that machine gets added to your Intune portal because Intune portal is nothing but your MGM authority and Azure AD is uh, your additional uh, active directory which is coming from Azure point of view. So let's uh, focus on uh, more into the Azure AD. Now you have the option to configure your MDM uh, user scope. Uh, this is the critical step which you need to configure on your uh, MDM enrollment process for example um, you have the two options in fact if you can go back to your Active Directory which is Azure Active Directory in this case you also have your MDM and MAM so in this you are listing out indirectly to point to the same tab which is nothing but this tab or this page or this blade in fact okay now we will be clicking on this in tune and it, it comes as the same page if you can see here right so either you need to configure here for enrollment process to automatically happen for your Azure AD join machines uh, to join into Intune so to configure that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on all or I can do that hey I just want it for a specific users say example my entire infrastructure is not in a hybrid mode then I can go for all that means any of the machine is joined uh, into Azure AD that mission also can be managed with Intune that's what we are going to configure now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it as all and MAM also I'm going to set it to all that's all I have to do it click on save in case if you wanted to configure for specific users uh, initially for your pilot testing then you need to click on for some and then choose your directory uh, or whatever the security group for example in this case I just want it for only all finance user group later point I would be increasing the uh, membership and then I would be further going for the testing so you would be always going in a phased manner uh, like uh, pre pilot pilot and then going for the larger group of audience and then you would be going in to roll out to the production in a phased manner that's how any company will normally proceed so in our case we are not uh, following only that we are going to configure everything for every machine every device every user so I'm just clicking on all and uh, I have already saved in fact so if I go back here which I have not refreshed but if I just uh, go back and refresh I would be able to get the same setting which I have already configured from this page which is from Azure Active Directory the same settings are appearing here next step uh, we also need to configure our Microsoft enrollment which is uh, coming from Microsoft Intune enrollment so we also have to do this uh, which is under your active directory which is Azure AD AAD and then go back to MDM and MAM here you also have the two options so for the first time what we have done is we configured from the Microsoft Intune but uh, post to that we also need to configure Microsoft Intune enrollment and click all and simply save that that would automatically discover uh, a process would be you know, enabled uh, for the enrollment pro purpose for any of the mobile devices so that's how you are going to configure uh, for your Windows uh, enrollment process as a next step um, you can verify here in the 
uh, intent portal for the enrollment device enrollment process and now you can go back to Windows enrollment and now you can see we have just completed this and we have not yet configured anything related to the hello business all those things but these are all not relevant at this point of time but uh, we're gonna learn more when we touch up each and every uh, every of these uh, specific blade wise uh, sections but just want to you know show you for the C name validation purpose since it is comes into configuration part uh, if I can click on C name validation I should be able to give my input my domain name omnio.com and if I test this it should be uh, showing as uh, the required C names all already has been created because if you can remember uh, we also have created these things while we are configuring our domain name uh, configuration in the DNS setup uh, in the godaddy.com right. so that's that's what the uh, uh, configuration has been done automatically as part of that so we no need to do any further settings if you have not done anything you may have to visit this page and do that uh, specific configurations